everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at a travel trailer that in my opinion, you can full time year round in. This is the 2021 Keystone Outback Model 341 RD. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Outback and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the World Showing Channel, giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. So if you like videos like this, consider subscribing. And again, today I'm super excited be taking a look at this rear den outback it's super big and nice but before i begin i would like to say hi to will hey will hey guys how's it going pretty good super excited to take a look at this i definitely have to agree with you matt there's not too many travel trailers except for maybe destination trailers that i would consider good for full timing in yeah so, for this sure is definitely one of them though absolutely now check it out it doesn't mean it's full time for uh it doesn't mean it's warranted for full time Always check the owner's manuals before you decide to live in a RV. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And always check before the specs. Model is 341 RD, but the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 38 feet, eight inches. The dry weight is 8,410 pounds. And will the hitch weight? 1,045 pounds. Absolutely. Always remember, you want to get weight distribution bars when towing one of these. Coming up here, Will. We have nice power tongue jack right here, but this isn't any just power tongue jack. Oh, Dang okay. nabbit, Will. Ah, uh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Good job, Will. So check this out. This has the uh, auto stabilizing system. It's really nice. We'll show you that when we walk around it. And this is your controls and everything. Six point leveling, Will, Wow. on a travel trailer. Very nice, very nice, a lot of high end features. 20 pound propane tanks go here. You can get it with the 30 pounds. And then look at this beautiful fiberglass front cap. So the reason why I call it a fiberglass front cap, Will, is because the side fiberglass actually ends here and it actually caps over it, putting the seam right there, making it a lot less likely to leak. You have this nice Darko bed liner material nice. right here. Painted front cap with, look at this beautiful, huge windshield. I absolutely love what they did here. And because it's a Keystone, they do give you the three-year warranty. That's not a windshield. What is it? It's not see-through. Oh, my That's bad. That's just fiberglass, I think. Yeah, it's just fiberglass. It looks like a windshield. It kind of does. Sorry about that, y'all. That's why we have Will here. <laughs> Check this out, Will. Look at this. That's cool. I have never seen this on a travel trailer. I know. Ain't that nice? Nice slide-out tray. We have a battery disconnect switch in there. Light in there. Nice pass-through storage. And you can see the aluminum framing and everything. Nice slam latch door. Right here, you can have a TV on the outside. Here's your power plugs. Nice color scheme, what they went with this yep. year. I love the black and gold. Very elegant, very nice for Keystone's top of the line travel trailer. And then look at this. That has to be one of the biggest awnings I've ever seen on a travel trailer. Definitely. You have speakers on the outside, and then you have these nice slipper component solid steps very nice now this does have the arctic barrier package well that means it is good for four seasons what that means is has a heated and insulated it's heated and insulated for cold weather camping but know this four seasons always is with an asterisk you can't go to canada in the winter you know what i'm saying it always depends on how cold that it gets but it is definitely one of the best insulator travel trailers on the market nice tires right there Look, well, the tire case. ST225-75R15. Very nice. Finishing up. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, yeah. It has the lighting on the side of the awning. That's one of the new features I've seen. Very nice feature. Does it have it up top, too, or just there? No, no, no. I think it's just there now. Okay. Cable driven slide out system. Very nice on a travel trailer. Okay. Coming around the back. We have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. No hitch on the rear, perfect. Prep for a backup camera. Also, we have a ladder to get up 
on the one piece TPO roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Here we go now. All right, up here on the roof, you can see there is only one air conditioning unit, but it is prepped for two. It's a nice one piece, fully walkable TPO roof. You have your wine guard digital antenna, and then you can see the three places for Max Air fans. Here we go now. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What an RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof. Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. Coming down the side. Wow, look at that. Ain't that beautiful and nice? Yep. Great place to dump your black and gray tank. I can see it, hold on. Very nice. There's one and the other. And then right there above you, that's where you hook up your um, key TV light system. Here's your docking station. Outdoor solder, shower, city water, potable water fill. Potable, potable, potable. Great, very nice. And then over here, you can see cable slide outs on all three slides. And right here, we do have a little bit more storage. 50 amp power cord, that's where it is. You can see the power cord connector? No, it must have been. I missed it. Back here? Maybe on the back. Oh, that's weird. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. That's where you plug in your 50 amp power cord. Okay. And then for the six point leveling, we got two up there. All right here. Yep. And the other two. Right behind the tire. Show it. Oh, okay. Yep, right, right there. there. And then show just angle the camera that way. Right there. Six point, that's very unique and rare on a travel trail. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. All right. Okay. Oh, not front first. Wow. Bedroom here. I've never seen this in a travel trailer. It's pretty nice, huh? This is insane. Bathroom here. Where's the light switch? Kitchen and dining area. Huh. Is the battery plugged in? There you go. Very nice. Kitchen dining area. Yep. And the rear down here. Notice this nice radius roof. Higher end feature. We got these Vanna white lights throughout the whole travel trailer. And then look at this, y'all. A rear living room travel trailer like this. Never seen this in a travel trailer. Super awesome and nice. Just like a fifth wheel. You have the opposing sofas. They, they are sleeper sofas. You got the slide out here with your privacy blinds. Um, all around nice windows for nice cross ventilation and breeze. We'll get that open. You know why? Because it's hot here on November 9th in Ohio. Man, we were trying, we were racing up here to try to beat it before the last cold. And sure enough, did we bring the warm weather with us? So these come out to make a bed. And then something I want everybody to notice. Will is six foot three. Yeah. Look Plenty how much headspace in a travel space. trailer. Yeah, it's crazy. That never happens. We just did a fifth wheel with a rear den and you had less headspace than that yeah. in a fifth wheel. Also made by Keystone. Very nice. Nice cabinetry above. Real big TV, Jensen TV. And then you got a little bit more storage there. Look at that nice big fireplace. 
48 inch DVD sound bar and more storage on that side. And then here is what I love. You have nice Thomas Paine, I call it parachute, theater seats. Oh man. Well, that is nice. Clocking out for the day, resting Clocking there. Clocking out, here we go. Cool, and then over here, look at this kitchen area. I love this. This is good for fat people like us, Will. That's right. Because you can pull it all the way back and you got plenty of seats. And then you got a booth. It's kind of like when we go out to dinner, we always like to get the tables that's half booth, half table and chairs. You know, so everybody can get what they're comfortable with. This dinette, I must say, is a little tight. Is it? Kind of like this shirt. The shirt shrank, so this dinette must have shrunk as well. No, all jokes aside, it is pretty tight dinette right there but again that's why i love that feature right there well will it's now time for the msrp <laughs> msrp on this travel trailer here is man i expensive? told you guys it was good quality right yeah fifty one thousand three hundred ninety two dollars msrp Sale price, as you can see right here, we don't advertise sale price on the website for 2021s, but here's what I do know. We can get everybody the best sale price in America. Here's what you do. Just go down in the description below or check out the website, mattsrvreviews.com. Click the contact me page. If you just want a price on this unit and you're looking to buy it, we have a tab right there. That will take you to General RV's website to fill out a form. So you can get in contact with one of my team members to get you the best price in America. Also, we're doing something new, y'all. A new contact me page where you hit that second tab and then you would request to be contacted from either Will or myself. One of us will reach out to you. We will call you, text you, email you, or FaceTime you. However you like to communicate back and forth for general RV questions. And then if you just want to talk to us and it's really not RV related, you can click that third tab, or also you can join us on our Facebook group, Club Art Deco. Will, you guys contact us, and we will take you down the right road to get you the best price in America. That's right. Let's continue the video. All right. That was better than the last video, though. Yeah. We're still working on that. Yeah. If you guys don't know, we're not scripted. I just try to... Eventually, it will smooth out. That's right. Here we go now. All right, we'll start over here. You got... Oh, we'll start. That was a pun. <laughs> Will, he's Will. Will will start here. Yep. All right. Um, pantry space here, good amount of, of space. And then we have a fridge here. This is going to be a residential? Nope, compressor fridge. Compressor fridge. Oh, yeah. Will, that was I tell you. All right, yeah, compressor fridge here. A little bit of storage up top here. Yes, sir. Nice Furion hood range. Yes. And they kept it consistent with the three burner cooktop Furion, Love the Furion as well. Does it light up? It sure does. Ooh. And then oven right there. Very nice. Good for DiGiorno. Yep. Storage there and spice rack there. What are they doing here? Kind of like a countertop extension, you think? I, I think it was just to cap it off. Ah, uh, okay. And, oh, so it doesn't fall off and yeah. fall into that. Yep. Okay, interesting. Coming over on the side. You got cabinet space here. Yep. High point microwave. Yes, sir. With a little line rack up above. Yep. And this is. It's convec convection. Uh, is it? Yeah, it looks convection. It looks Open it like again. It. Yep, it's convection. Okay, convection microwave, and uh, more storage there. Read that. Read that out loud. Something's missing. There's no rattling, no rattling. turntable in that. Two times larger cooking service, flat bottom, makes it easy to clean and diamond wave technology. Sounds fancy. Your flat bottom makes it easy to clean. <laughs> <laughs> nice solid surface countertops here. Yep, nice big sink. With that with uh, sink cover. cover. Yep. Drawers. Good. Oh, hang on, I missed that. Oh, drawers. Yes. Very oh, nice. Ooh. nice. You think they gave an $83 trash can? Nope. Nope. Wham, wham. Cool. It's the tall test. All Get right. on over to the bathroom, Will. For those of you who don't know, if you're watching the show for the first time, Will is six foot three. 
Let's a see. radius shower. Hmm. I don't like the radius shower. I don't like the radius but, shower. I mean, well, does it pass the tall test? Yeah, it's tall enough. Yeah, I mean. Definitely tall enough. Okay. We got your sink over right here. Medicine cabinet. Little sink action going on. And this is nice. I'm just I'm just not a fan of those radius showers, yeah. you know. Very nice. It's now time for the toilet test. Porcelain. <sighs> okay. Will, this is a prime poop position. Bing! Very nice. Cool. I just, not, not, never a fan. Cool, going through that door. Okay. I like the way the doors look. Yeah, they are faint. And then check this out in a travel trailer with a nice front slide out right here. Yeah. Very nice. That's part of the reason why it does have a heavy tongue weight. Definitely. Nice. Is that a king size bed? It looks like it. Yep, with windows on both sides. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Wow. Washer and dryer prep. I believe a combo, yeah. but that's okay for a travel trailer. That's crazy. That's cool. You never see that in a travel trailer. Again, it's good for full timing. Here's your, uh, whatchamacallit, your closet. Yep. I can't believe that I thought that front was a window. <laughs> And then over here, we got your, your uh, dresser drawers, okay? Nice drawers, you can mount a TV right there. And then, is there storage underneath the bed? There sure is. Oh, and do you know what that is? I do. That is, oh. oh. This is Matt's bedroom. No, it's not my bedroom. <laughs> That's a good place dog for you channel. to put your dog. But, can we be real? Yeah, I ain't putting my dog in. I'm not putting my dog in there either. One, he's gonna die from carbon monoxide poisoning coming out of my butt <laughs> but um but two i mean come on everybody leave down in the comments below do you put your dog in that kennel or does your dog sleep right up here in between you and your loved one you and your spouse let me know that in the comments below regardless on what everybody says will as great as this trailer is it's now time to give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it will what do we do first things you like go ahead you want me to go first yep all right we didn't really touch on this in the review but um um i like how up here you can add the second ac unit and i like how they didn't do it you know price point thing if no nope. if you don't want it nope no what no continue oh if you don't want it you know you don't have to pay for it but if you do want it it's already prepped you got all the electrical put out and get your second ac you guys are about to see how unscripted we are okay, okay? That's one. Mm -mm -mm. Well, you have a lot to learn about RVs, my friend. <laughs> uh, likes, like number two, I love this rear living area. I've never seen this in a travel trailer. I've seen it in fifth wheels plenty of times, but to actually get seating, three sofas in a travel trailer, this is huge, beautiful, and nice. So that's two, and then do you have a third, Will? Um. I do have a third if Okay, you go ahead. Number three is that six point um, stabilizing. Oh, yeah. You don't see that on a travel trailer. You know what? I'm going to combo that. With all the. A lot of people want a full time. But, yeah. they don't, but they don't want a fifth wheel. Right. This is a great compromise. It is, know? yeah. Is, is this going to stink to full time in? Be, yes, it's a travel trailer. It's, it is a little bit smaller. But because it is a little bit smaller, it's you know, if you still it. have a half ton truck, you know, certain half ton trucks. You know, it, it makes it good, easy, and nice to full time in. Yep. So that's three things we like about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. You ready for me to go first? Sure. You ready? Yeah. I hate how it only has one air conditioning unit. Okay. This is the Outback. This is top of the line. It should not be an option. I should not be paying $51,000 MSRP and then having to add another $880 in a second AC unit. A trailer this big should have that standard. It's great how you have it as an option, but I don't know of anybody getting a travel trailer this size who wants to add that as an option. And you made it your like. <laughs> well, what about up in Alaska? No, no, two AC units. Uh oh, two AC units. We're talking about the the lower, the Great Forty Eight. Oh, okay. Not the not the few people in Alaska. 
We love you, Alaska. But even them, for resale value, you always want two AC units. That's true. So that's one. Well, I've never been more disappointed in it. <laughs> that's one. Two. Okay, mine is um, the kitchen area. Yep. It, it's just not very conducive to cooking, really. Nope. I very think. small and tight. Very small and tight, and it's like a, you know, coming down here to the pantry, then yep. back over here to prep something. Just, it, you know. It is what it is, it and, is. and it's one of those things. If you love this living area, then you'll make that sacrifice yeah, for that kitchen. Definitely. Now, if you hate that kitchen and you don't love this living area, there's other floor plans in the Outback that will work for you. That's right. So that's two, and I do have a number three. Okay. You ready for this? Yep. The heck's going on right there? Yeah. You know, like, I see what they did there, because this, they, they try to make it nice to make it look flush looking, but what they, they should have just left that out. Yeah, I agree. Like, it's okay that it's on that lip, because the sofa was covering up that lip. It, it, it now, it... I didn't notice it, but now with that flap, it makes me notice that it's not flush. You right. know what I'm saying? Yep. I just don't like that. But it's okay. Because, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you're looking at nice big travel trailers to full time in, we will have videos in a few seconds right up here. Again, if you have any questions about this and you want to get in contact with Will or myself or one of my team members at General RV, go to mattsrvreviews.com, click that fill out form. And we give you three options of how to get to, in contact with us. Again, if you do option, if you're not ready to buy and you just want to connect with me or Will, uh, that second tab, uh, let us know. We will call you. We'll FaceTime you. We'll email you or we'll text you. However works best for you. Um, or again, if you are ready to buy, click that. Get that Matt cash. Um, and one of my team members will give you a call and then you'll automatically get $500 additional off the sale price. Will? Do you have anything you want to say? Sure. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. And again, like Matt said earlier, if you want to connect with us, you know, more than just online, make sure to cl uh, join Club Art Deco on Facebook. Bing! And, uh, you know, we're always reading the posts and comments and everything there. So. It's just a good community. It is. Yep. Yeah, just a community of us and other, you know, RVers. And, you know, get a lot of questions answered. Perfect. And I want to add one more like because we can do that. Sure. Look at the headspace in a travel yeah, trailer. Phenomenal. Yep. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Do yourself a favor and watch another video if you're in the market for a trail like this. These are my two personal recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. Will, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.